Hi, Lane. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for coming on. Good morning, Lauren. Thank you for having us. Just to get us started, can you um, tell us real quickly what type of business you run? Uh, my wife and I started Solid Rock Custom Homes um, almost 22 years ago. Solid Rock Construction and Solid Rock Custom Homes, these two companies. Uh, we're passionate about custom home building, though, so that's why we really enjoy working with a lot of our clients to make sure that uh, we deliver them a home, an estate-type quality, awe-inspiring, extraordinary home. That's what we love to do, and that's our passion. I also love to give back to the community, so thank you, Lauren, for having us this morning. Thank you so much for coming on. With that much time in business, I know you'll have more to share than we can even get on this podcast, but we'll take what we can get. So tell us a little bit about your involvements in town. Aside from just strictly work, are there nonprofits or networking groups that you're part of? Yes, thank you. I do believe in giving back to the community, especially the community and where we draw business from. Um, there are lots of great organizations that we are involved with. I do love giving back to HBA Cares. It's a nonprofit version of the National Association of Home Builder and the HBA of Colorado Springs. So we've done a few projects for HBA Cares. I do really enjoy middle market entrepreneurs, MME, the breakfast they hold once a quarter. That's a great opportunity to give back to other people within the community and business owners in the community. But if you think about it like CEOs, COOs, or CFOs, uh, the leaders in the business, that's what the middle market entrepreneurs is all about. So you can only attend if you're a C-level executive, so you can't have salespeople there or HR people or thing, people like that. So it's just the C-level executives and you share within the community and you share within the business environment there and help each other become better. One of the recent ones that we attended or that I attended was the secret sauce. It was kind of a, a fun topic there, but a few business leaders in our community talked about what made them successful over the years, their secret sauce, as you will. So it was kind of a fun atmosphere. It was a fun breakfast. It's a great network opportunity, and it's also a great opportunity to, uh, to grow your own business. What's a good secret sauce that you learned? Um, one of the things that I've learned and applied was we call it GLUE, the acronym G-L-U-E. So giving little unexpected extras is what we like. And so my wife, we call the heart of Solid Rock Custom Homes here. She usually does a um, just a thank you uh, when we wrap up our jobs. She'll do something that we'll find out a little bit about our client along the way. Like some of them like to cook um, barbecue on the grill. So recently we found some fun um, barbecue sauce that no one else has seen before and we gave that to them in a gift basket so they can enjoy their barbecue. We did an outdoor kitchen for them. It was a great project. So just giving little unexpected extras I think is a secret sauce that we've applied here at Solid Rock. I love that. And what um, what are a few of the nonprofits that you support in town? We love CASA. We think giving back to um, the women and children of that organization I think is wonderful. Uh, my wife helps out with them as well. Uh, we believe in giving back to Restore that helps uh, the Habitat for Humanity here in Colorado Springs with giving um, for homes and giving back to the community through um, building supplies. I also believe in being part of nonprofit organizations within this area here as well as giving back to like our kids' schools and sports organizations. We did an HBA Cares Spina Bifida ramp for Helen so that she could get access to her home a lot easier than she was through the steps. So we put together a bunch of trades and volunteers and suppliers and had everything donated to build the ramp onto her home. And so Helen and Chuck thanked us for that and he shared a letter that he'd saved from a long time ago and it was just touching to us and the HBA here of Colorado Springs. Passing it on, that's awesome. Absolutely, and giving back, we thought it was awesome.